we are given the vectored value functions u of t and v of t and asked to determine the derivative with respect to t of the dot product of the two vectored value functions when t equals negative one. Looking at the formula below for the derivative of the dot product of two vectored value functions, notice how it looks very similar to the product rule of differentiation. And the result is going to be a function of t. So let's write this as f of t is equal to the derivative with respect to t of the dot product of the two vectored value functions. So to begin, let's write u of t in component form where the x component is equal to e to the power of 2t, the y component is equal to e to the power of negative 4t, and the z component is equal to 5t. We will dot this with the component form of v prime of t. v prime of t has an x component equal to the derivative of negative 5t, which is negative 5. The y component is equal to the derivative of negative 2t squared, which is negative 4t. And the z component is equal to the derivative of 5, which is equal to 0. And then we have plus the component form of v of t, where the x component is negative 5t, the y component is negative 2t squared, and the z component is equal to 5. And we dot this with the component form of u prime of t. The derivative of e to the power of 2t requires a chain rule. The derivative is equal to e to the power of 2t times 2, or 2 e to the power of 2t. The y component is equal to the derivative of e to the power of negative 4t, which is e to the power of negative 4t times negative 4, or negative 4 e to the power of negative 4t. And the z component is equal to the derivative of 5t, which is equal to 5. And now let's determine the two dot products. We have f of t is equal to e to the power of 2t times negative 5, giving us negative 5 e to the power of 2t. And then we have e to the power of negative 4t times negative 4t, which gives us minus 4t e to the power of negative 4t. And then we have 5t times 0, which is 0. And then for the second dot product, we first have negative 5t times 2 e to the power of 2t, which gives us minus 10t e to the power of 2t. And then we have negative 2t squared times negative 4 e to the power of negative 4t, which gives us plus 8t squared e to the power of negative 4t. And then finally we have 5 times 5, which gives us plus 25. And now we need to evaluate f of t at t equals negative 1. So f of negative 1 is equal to negative 5 times e to the power of 2 times negative 1 minus 4 times negative 1 times e to the power of negative 4 times negative 1 minus 10 times negative 1 times e to the power of 2 times negative 1 plus 8 times the square of negative 1 times e to the power of negative 4 times negative 1 plus 25. And now going to the calculator. The result is approximately 680.8545. Let's check the entry. We have negative 5 times e to the power of negative 2 minus 4 times negative 1 e to the power of positive 4 minus 10 times negative 1 e to the power of negative 2 plus 8 times the square of negative 1 times e to the power of positive 4 and then plus 25, again giving us approximately 680.8545. I hope you found this helpful.